Greetings, fellow Toon Gazers. You're here today with the Shatterday Boys. That's Nick and Joe, the Found Footage Festival, and me, George. And today we have special guest Matt, the drummer, indie rock drummer extraordinaire. He's played in Brooklyn bands from Palomar to the Human Hearts. He played guitar at Melinda Khan and recently was a pivotal part of Martin Carlton's third annual stunt spectacular at FFF's 20th anniversary blast. Welcome, Matt. Hello. That was exciting. I, I was actually worried for your well-being when he jumped over you. I thought we were, I thought you were a goner, personally. I also did, but uh, I'm glad I, I signed all those waivers. And uh -huh. I, I was all about board. Fully yeah, insured, yeah, yeah. everything. Yep, the whole thing. Um, for those who don't know what we're talking about, we had our 20th anniversary show at the Bell House here in Brooklyn uh, last week. And Martin Carlton came down. Martin Carlton, of course, is the guy from Ohio who jumped from one tree to another tree in a home movie. And he came down to the show. Nick, do you have the Martin Carlton? Yeah, just a, a reminder. This video was traded around amongst various people. Um, I think we got it from David Cross. Uh, but here's here's the money shot from the Martin Carlton first annual stunt special. Yep. There's a whole build Let's up. Let's go in and see if he's okay. Okay, so that, that just, that's a little taste of... Uh, There's a 20-minute build-up to that actual jump, and then he jumped across and didn't even come close to making it. Yes. But uh, we've become friends with Martin Carlton since then, and we're doing the 20th anniversary, and we invited him to the show, and he came down. And we were like, we have to do some sort of stunt. You know, he's there. He came, he flew all the way here and everything. And uh, we asked Matt uh, if he'd be willing to be the thing that Martin Carlton jumps over, and you said yes. I did. Yep. And and the idea was that you'd be doing the drum roll while he jumps over you. I think it's the first time I've I've ever laid on my stomach. Well, you'll see the clip. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, we have, we have a clip, George. Roll. Right. This yeah, is yeah. from uh from the Instagram page Video Library from Hell. So thank you in advance. Oh, that's Theo. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's that. <laughs> I emerged from the monitor. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. you were sweating bullets. Yeah. I mean, think if he didn't, he would have like stepped right on your back. It would have probably hurt a little bit. I mean, he's pretty good at jumping over things. It's true. Well, except for that one time in that video. Well, wow, that's yeah. jumping yeah. from a thing. That's a totally different skill. Jumping yeah. from yeah. one thing to another, but anyway, you nailed it. Yeah, you nailed it, Matt. So we're happy to have you here. And you're still alive. Yep. yep. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, one of the other reasons Matt's here is that today we're going to watch an episode of a cartoon called Black Star, which features a heroic astronaut stranded on an alien planet, where he becomes a Conan-style warrior who fights a villain named Overlord. That's right. Oh. Matt is also the drummer of the very famous indie rock band overlord i'm probably the biggest fan so the, to me it's a it's a thrill to to hang out with you here but before we get to that let's talk cereals and mugs hey I, let me start off with one this is uh this is pretty great I, I don't know who sent this to us but joe we got a bunch of these at the uh office i think i don't know if they're all the same but mine says nick make your sweet ass dreams come true <laughs> this is from moon dreamers uh. And look at this art. They put together like the Moon Dreamers art and then uh, That's so cool. Yeah. So the colorful handle too and then yeah. the orange on the inside. Yep. There was some thought put into that. I there like was. that a lot. So, now, I don't know who sent this, but thank you very much. Because it came from I guess the mug manufacturer. And make your sweet ass dreams come true. Remind me, is that what it yeah. sounds like the lyrics yes. are? Yes, okay. it sounds like the theme song. I think Caitlin 
was the first to point out that <laughs> it sounded like make your sweet ass dreams come true. You're not dreaming, it's the moon dreamers. Make your sweet ass dreams come true. Your sweet ass dreams come true? No! <laughs> that was exactly what I heard. A hundred percent that. It's make your sweetest dreams come true, but well, I don't know. You hear don't what know. you want to hear. Yeah. Um, let me show you mine. I've never been so excited about a mug. I got this one from Erica and Mike. They went to Romania last November, and they gave me the tiniest mug I've ever received. This is a very little mug, and it's a uh, communist dictator that was assassinated. Ceausescu? <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> Nikolai Ceausescu? I was going to ask you, George, because I huge, figured that's something that would be in your wheelhouse. Huge, huge fan of, of deposed uh, dictators. He was famously, gun he and his wife were famously gunned down. Yeah, uh, these two? Yes, it, by a crowd. And then there was a Saturday Night Live sketch. There was a coffin and the, the leaders were in it. All the country folk were there talking about how sad it was that he got killed. Then there was some slight movement in the coffin. They all pulled out AK-47s and... And reshare them. Comedy gold. <laughs> was that from the Charles Rocket era? Because it just doesn't no, sound no, that, that funny. That, okay. that was that was very. I believe Nora Dunn was in that. Stuff. I see. All right, all right. Okay. I like Nora Dunn. Anyway, uh, I like my mug a lot. Thank you, Eric and Mike. What about Matt? What do you have? Well, I know that cinnamon toast crunch is your territory, but yeah, I hope you're not going to impinge on. I picked loaded. up some, some loaded, which is has vanilla cream filling. And that guy. He and looks this guy's loaded. tongue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, back in my drinking days, that's what I would look like. So that guy's definitely loaded. Yeah. Yep. The eyes yeah. would be at half to, masked, but I'm gonna right. pour it right now. Yeah, like, have you tried it yet? No, no, no. It's going in the milk right now. All right. All right. Hey, talk about your sword behind you that's uh put up with tape. I, I really <laughs> like that. <It's>, yeah, <laughs> I, I figured um if we're it's like we're at a museum or something. <laughs> if we're watching some kind of Conan knockoff, I believe Black Star. That's correct. Um, so I grabbed my daughter's uh, foam sword, which oh, I could just reach out and and thrash some enemies. Oh, nice. Yeah, you never I know. just keep that up permanently because I I think it looks terrific. Yeah, yeah. I think my wife's going to be really happy about. Okay, it. good. Yeah, you can barely even see the tape. <laughs> mm. Yeah, loaded. It's loaded. Yeah, loaded with flavor. Texture-wise, yeah. how's the texture? It's a little mushy. Mm, okay, all right. Mushy and loaded. Like, uh -huh. Yeah, you look so like you're loaded compare? with you're loaded with joy. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, is it is it a spinoff of the Velvet Underground album Loaded, or is it unrelated? It's there's white milk, <laughs> white heat, brown brown heat. <laughs> Uh, mm. George, George, I was going to ask you about Black Star though. Is this is there any spinoff with uh, Most Def and Talib Kweli uh, with their right. super group that they formed? Is there anything with the, the cartoon and, and Black, that Black Star? No, but there is with David Bowie's last album, Black Star. <laughs> okay, which, uh, got so, it. It's a spinoff of World Star, the uh, video. Oh, yeah, World so, Star Hip Hop. Yeah, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Joe and I are going to have a bare knuckle box uh, <laughs> boxing match after this. People just say, call me the Kimbo Slice of uh, of Saturday morning cartoons. I've always called yeah. you that. Um, so I have I'm I have got a new segment, Georgia's Boring Mugs, and this is one of the boring mugs I found. This is uh, International <laughs> Credit Union Day. <gasps> uh, oh, I like that one a lot. Wow. Twenty seven million members worldwide. A hundred million members in the U.S. No, it's two hundred seventeen like million. That. 164 years of service, nine principles, one movement. And I got to tell you, when, when this uh, episode's over, I've got a movement. <laughs> <laughs> you got you know exactly I mean. one movement of your own. You got to. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, I like this new quarter, this new uh, uh, George's Boring, boring Bugs. Bugs. Yeah. yeah big I was, fan. I was go trying too hard in the other direction of George's uh, interesting and entertaining oh, mugs. No, that'll never last. <laughs> it turns out the vast majority of mugs are incalculably dull. Yeah, well, and, it's something uh, new I'm to look for. for. Yeah. yeah, tell us about Black Star, George. Okay, so I'm going to start us off with a uh, commercial for the Black Star toy. Ooh, a toy. Do for your kids. Laser lights, laser lights, it's Black Star. Defender of rights. <laughs> does that over and over. Ready to fight the evil overlord. Laser lights. The ice castle is a mysterious place. He might meet the lava face to face. Laser light. 
Good old Galoob. Yeah, this is going to be a Galoob heavy episode. Um, mm-hmm. so well, if, turn it off now if you're if you're uh, if you're anti Galoob because of their political positions. What's their political position? I don't know, but if, oh. <laughs> I'm sure somebody out there is like fuming right now. I've it's never good. seen a, a Saturday morning cartoon tie in with a toy. That's interesting. That's that's actually a great idea. It's More a of new, them should do that. It's a new concept. Uh, the well, villain reminds me of Ven. Is it Venger from yes. uh, the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon? Kind of Very a similar much so. look. Yeah. Okay. This is the weird case where the cartoon came first and mm. the toy line came later. One of the things I love about the um, not very well known uh, cartoons or more obscure ones is that there's not a lot for me to um, have to uh, talk about, right? Yeah. That's always on. the best. That's yeah. always yeah. the best. Yeah. Yep. Wikipedia has like two paragraphs. You guys fill in your own gaps. Wikipedia is even like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so Black Star is a sci-fi fantasy series that seems to be equal parts John Carter of Mars, which was like, I think, 1917 story of a Civil War uh, hero who ends up on Mars. And they made a movie about 10 years ago that was roundly mocked of, uh, of it. But it's it's an epic in sci-fi history. And also Conan the Barbarian. That made Taylor catch the household name he is today, I think. Uh... <laughs> So you John are familiar Carter. with yeah. that fine work. Uh, did you see it? No, I have not okay. seen John Carter. Very good. Uh, so astronaut John Blackstar travels through a black hole and ends up on the planet Sagar, where he leads a rebellion. How did he, wait, wait. How did yeah. he get in the black hole? It's all covered in the in the one-minute intro. Like the best okay. intros. Yes. Right? Uh, I believe he just like flies right into it. Um is he in outer space? He's flying in outer space, and then he, he goes. He is in? flying in outer space. It's this isn't like a black hole that was at the end of the street. Okay, that's what I was space thinking. black holes. Okay, um, so he ends up on the planet Sagar, where he leads a rebellion against Overlord, along with and he's he's got his friends are Mara, the rather attractive enchantress, Clone, the shapeshifter, uh, his uh, steed Warlock, the dragon, and the Trobits, who are right out of the Lord of the Rings. How that got through the legal department? Yeah. Um, well, all, it looks like seven dwarves to me. Yeah, because well, there's I, actually there's... seven of them. Why? Well, well, yeah, yeah, that's true. Black Star, as you can see, he's holding a weird sword. It's called the Star Sword, and Overlord holds the Mirror Sword. Uh, it's the Power Sword, and together, these swords f- form one huge sword. And they have these. Each sword has the power of whatever the plot demands. Um, <laughs> And uh, Filmation produced one season of 13 episodes that aired in fall of 81. To me, it feels kind of like a 70s cartoon, uh, more than an 80s cartoon. Like a Herculoids or a Thundar sort of? Well, yeah, uh, Mm Herculoids-ish. Black Star was voiced by George Desenzio, who also did the voice of Hordak on He-Man. Yeah. And according to Google Maps, is buried seven minutes from where I am right (gasps) here in Pennsylvania. Is he in Greenwood? No, I'm in Pennsylvania right now. Oh, you're in Pennsylvania. He's weird. Okay. I think it's even weirder that he's in he's in a Churchville, yeah. Pennsylvania. Yeah. Are you uh, going there after we watch this? Oh, I was there earlier. Oh, um, you were there earlier. Yeah, I usually putting nuts and flowers. I have lunch there. Um, okay. Overlord is voiced by Alan Oppenheimer, who was Skeletor, Man yes. at Arms, and Merman. Mara was voiced by Linda Gary, who was Tila and Evil Lynn on He Man. And oh, two good. of the Trobits were voiced by Frank Welker, who. Oh. The new information, Frank Welker owns a Beechcraft Bonanza Turbo that he flew just last month. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'd like to thank whoever updated Wikipedia. But this is, yes. you know, we uh, we don't really Has have... that wound on his head healed? Do we know that? Uh, like... I don't. It doesn't. Okay. I don't think the, the FAA covers that. Okay. Um, so th- well, there were... Okay. Yeah. Wait, when did that happen? When did that flight occur? Was like that early was March? Okay. March wow. 9th, I think. Where do you have to go? Well, it... <laughs> or maybe I should ask Matt because Matt, you are the overlord expert. Yeah. Um, so I believe do you know, it, oh, I, yeah. it looks like he was he was going to um uh to to do make some sounds that were like ah! <laughs> Right, you can see that when, where he landed in Van yeah. Nuys on the left. That sounds like ah! something he'd do. Yeah, yeah, that's something he would do. Yep. Yeah. Um, nope. So weirdly, the action figures came out later w- when uh, when He Man was big. Uh, this predated He Man. 
and uh, it was much more successful in France, like all great works of art, yeah, where they got comic books, a board game, a VHS release. As Orson Welles said, ah, the French. And today we're going to watch a truly bizarre episode in which Black Star's girlfriend from Earth travels through the same black hole to find him, yielding, I'm going to say, the the most uh, erotic reunion in Saturday morning cartoon history. Oh, oh I can't wait. So, all right, that's yes. enough. Wait, it's his girlfriend? It, do, they, yeah. do they say, like, does he say, my girlfriend? Does he say something like that at some point? No, like, but you do see it going. Where there. is my girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's... Uh, Let's let's uh, watch this incredible opening that sums up everything I just said. Okay. John Blackstar, astronaut. Is swept through a black hole into John an ancient Blackstar. alien universe. Trapped on the planet Sagar, Blackstar is rescued by the tiny Trobit people. Part of the Sagar Master In turn, system. he joins their fight for freedom against the cruel overlord. He joins up with Most Death and Talib Kweli. <laughs> who rules by the might of the Power Star. The Power Star is split into the Power Sword <laughs> and the Star Mighty Sword. Morphin Power Rangers. And so, of... with Star Sword in hand, Megazord. Blackstar, together with his also, allies, sets does... out to save the where planet Sagar. Go? Does he have his astronaut Into the black hole. Yeah, there you go. He ended up oh. on another planet. Okay. This is his destiny. I What's the name? John Norm Blackstar. going around that planet? Yeah, Norm Scheimer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, can we back up to him saying, I'm John Blackstar? <laughs> I, just, I enjoyed that part. I, I also want to Luke see Scheimer Luke and Norm Scheimer. Prescott. Yeah, the word Norm going around a planet. This is kind of funny. <laughs> oh, that's a first. Yeah. A rotating Norm. We've never had a rotating Norm <laughs> no. on the show. This week in rotating Norms. <laughs> <laughs> a Norm in the loo. This is his What's destiny. That? I am John Blackstar. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> So in astronaut school, they teach you how to fly dragons too. Uh, Matt, you're the Overlord expert. I should ask you. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Lieutenant Katana, return to base. I repeat, return to base immediately. Negative, Commander. I've locked onto his photon. Sultry. I have to find him. Is that his girlfriend? Yeah. He's lost in the black hole. Don't How do they be meet? Crazy, Katana. I'm going meet after you. him. Over and out. <laughs> they had to pad out some design here. I could have cut this, right. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. I disagree. Seconds. Yeah, lots of, lots of cut. <laughs> so much filler. <laughs> so much pad. That's the handiwork of Norm Prescott. She's still going. She'll get there sometime. I did cut six minutes out of this. But really? Is, <laughs> you wouldn't know We're it. at six minutes right now. <laughs> this ship is not of this world, my overlord. This is what Ben practiced. And not of this universe. Hmm, it must have great power to travel so far. I could use such a craft. It's descending toward the Trobit Forest. A lit a lava lox. I it want even rhymes that with Hobbit. ship. Yeah. Does he just sit on his throne when he has nothing to do? It's like if there's nothing to conquer or battle, he just sits on the throne? Yep. That is his toilet, by the way. He plays the <laughs> Segar Master System. Lava locks! I bet, the one with big, I bet the one with big ears is good at hearing. Well, he's good at being a Frank Welker player. That. 
master class on what to cut. It just does seem 70s. This is like 81, you said? Yeah. That looks like a Keebler elf. Yeah. I think Keebler has a lot of stuff here. It's the big ear family. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Lava Locks, here's your choice. Minutes. You can either shove off or leave. What'll it be? <laughs> Maybe it's the 70s medallion that's making them look. I mean, I feel like 81 was pretty much still the 70s. Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. it wasn't quite yet the 80s. Yeah. It couldn't be. Knowing glances, there's a lot of those in here. George, is that the one that you said was attractive? Sure. You said one of them was attractive at the yeah. beginning. Yeah, yeah. Was it the space babe? The one with the the uh, oval head? Yeah. Yeah. It is. Katana. You attracted to her? Desperately. <laughs> John. John. Katana? <laughs> John Blackstone. Katana? I'm taking you home. Hello. <laughs> no one glances. <laughs> Save it. Yeah, it's that Wait, where are they all sweating? Hi. Oh, they're making EL fudges all oh. night. <laughs> I feel like I could have cut everything up to right here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hello. Oh, jealous? Is she jealous? Yeah. That is that keyboard elf. I, I can't believe you're here. Ernie? And I'm getting you out of here. <laughs> While you were still in one piece. I don't know his name, but... That's the main game around. Oh, okay. My yeah, they all have names and powers and stuff. They'll leave that. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> A flying shark. My friends! Let's oh. activate our magic middles! Now that's a tongue. It's jumping flame yeah. sticks. Help! It's almost like the cinnamon toast crunch tongue. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Down here, big shot. John, what are you doing? Where are your pants? Uh oh, John? a double header. I call it the Star Sword Tongue Twister. <laughs> Who's he saying that to? <laughs> Mara, clone, keep an eye on this creep. I've I got mean, this is also Flash Gordon, too. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of influences here. One and of the Flash heads Gordon. of that conjoined uh, dragon just got married. Warlock, fly! <laughs> Don't just stand there, Trubbits. Let's move! <laughs> But what about wow. him? It just got a real surreal. He'll keep. Let go, you boulders. How many cartoons do you think are in this vein existed? Like, 24, maybe? Yeah, I was going to say like 31, something like that. What'd she call him? Call him like a boulder? Yeah. She has a bay. No! I think the uh, animators really enjoyed drawing the breast lines. Whoa! Yeah. They got a lot of cool creatures. That's a cool that. beast. Yeah, I like the beasts. That's what dragons actually sound like. like pterodactyls? Yeah. My girlfriend! <laughs> We're going oh steady! <laughs> Where are we? Judging by the unbearable heat, I'd say at the planet's core. And look who else is here. Lava locks! They have my ship! You ever put lava locks on a bagel? It's like a smear. Really yeah. delicious. 
Where's my mouth? Yeah, that's the problem. If only he yeah. and Overlord could get along, their sword would. I'll hold them back, Katana. Get it's a really convenient sword. <laughs> Pulsating hole. John, Katana. No. Is that a katana sword? Yeah. Where's Katana? The sword or my girlfriend? Wherever that tunnel ends. Look at Mara! She's gone into a trance. It ends at the planet's surface. There, Katana and her ship are held in the palace of the Overlord. Yes! You gotta use samples like this in your shows, George. Yeah. Well, in the certainly. Of when... the Overlord. Yeah. This is the uh, the sample I want. Is these them yelling right here? Of the Overlord. Yipe! Yipe! <laughs> I love I love big groups yiping. Um, yeah. Let me t take a look at this. Is this this is definitely this is Ernie, right? Or this is a uh, is this Ernie Nick? Yeah, that's Ernie. Yeah. Okay, that looks exactly like, doesn't it? No difference. Ernie. Let me see him fight a lava lock, and then I'll uh, we'll see the difference. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll I'll have that ready to go at the end. Lava of the locks sound like a good like fudge filled cookie yeah. that the yeah, lava lock. Make. Yeah, yeah. Matt, did you ever have to use that sword during the first half of the episode today? I, I wasn't watching your. Stream. I found myself not even thinking of trying to reach for it. I, I really felt <laughs> okay. safe, and I felt secure yep. that I was not going to get hurt. Yep. When yeah, when you're you're in good hands with John Blackstar. Yeah. Well, let's uh, watch some uh, commercials of. The fine products by the company known as Galoob. Saturday morning cartoons will be right back. Invasible Iron Lion. Invasible and Robash. Imaginistic warriors of change. They are invasible. Oh, Come to the oh, universe of awesome. instant transformation. Invasible, where you could command the powers of change. What are those? I want this. They come ready for battle. Imaginistic warriors of change. They are invasible. Like a loop. Invasibles. It's the invasion of the Z-Bots. You've never seen Z-Bots like this. Ready for action. Good guys, evil ones, kicking and punching. They're everywhere. Totally cool. <laughs> totally cool. George, there's another sample for the Overlord show. Yep. Totally cool. I don't like the design of these. No. <laughs> we gotta watch this. We have it on VHS. Uh. Now, we have enough for a montage of kids saying cool in toy commercials. And, and I win! The bike of mice from Mars Blazing Cycle. Additional figures and bikes. on, bros. 420. Come inside the pages of the Ultra Force comic book. Clearly, Darth Prime Vader's Ultra heroes battle on against enemy and his evil forces. It's prime time, enemy. Fire! Sorry, prime evil rules. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> yeah, prime's getting pounded. Not for long. Cool and nice. Prime's getting pounded. Why do you think I include it in the mantra? Cool. <laughs> so it comes with a comic? Figures, each sold separately, new from well, it's based on a... Uh, Based on a comic book series. In the series. future, mighty oh, dragons okay. and warriors that fly okay. join forces against evil. Their new dragonflies, posable action figures, who pack a secret power, the power to fly. Wow, dragonflies really fly. Dragonflies on dragon launchers, zenith, peak, fly them, crash them against the evil dreadwing. Do some oh, cool stuff. Aren't those just sky dancers reskin? Yes. Yeah, but way cooler. Yeah. <laughs> new dragonflies, flying action figures with dragon launchers, each sold separately, new from Galoob. Because you know they're going to be used specifically to injure other people, whereas there's yeah. this illusion that uh, that sky dancers are going to be used for joy, 
not. Yeah, as no, no. They'll be like use like bottle rockets and shot at each other. <laughs> right. No, th- weren't they recalled? Did they recall all those? I mean, if I recall to... correctly, the, the uh, let's see. Yeah, I think so. All right. Well, I I know I showed the America's Funniest Video uh, home movie of the little girl trying her sky dancer, and then it goes right into the fireplace. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, yeah so that's, right. that's a, a very real danger. Mm-hmm. I'm right. looking forward for to part two dancers. for the Sky Dancers. Yes. Yeah, that's a danger to them. Now back to Saturday morning cartoons. Seven incredible minutes are left. Does John Blackstar propose to his girlfriend? Mm, he proposes something. Okay. You know right. what I'm talking about. I'll take any kind of proposal. I, John Blackstar, take you. Katana. Blackstar. Katana. I think he'd is take her last one. reflector ready, Bizier? The woman is under my spell, Vizier? my lord. She will Vizier. answer all. Tell me, Outworlder, what form of craft is this? What form of craft it is, is this? It's a craft. craft. Capable of multi-universe travel. Very useful indeed. And why are you here? To return John Blackstar to his own world. Oh. Oh. This, this ritual. What it's is from it? Earth. Something called love. Something love? It is the most what is this nonsense? force in any universe. They have never seen the power star at work. Oh. Mm. What a headache. Hmm. Outwelder, you can oh, have well. your ship and your black star. But first, you must give me the other half of the power star. Black Star's Star Sword. Give Just me look on my exposition sword. screen. The Star Sword. Star Sword. Star Sword. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like he was having a throat. He's, he's oh. trying to give her a worse headache, I think. <laughs> the rebels are approaching fast. Not tonight, Lord. Black Star. I All have a headache. The ice troopers. The invaders must be met with force. Oh, we got the lava but guys and the ice resist? troopers? Lava lava. If we didn't resist, and we'd make Black Star troopers. very suspicious now, wouldn't we? Teach me about dear? love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, such a convenient sword. Yeah. Still in the form of a flying shark, huh? The British accent. Yep. Black Star! Oh. John! This way! Hurry! I'm coming, Katana! Oh. Did they ever have any sort of... George, did you edit out some sort of, like, trysts John. that they had that we're missing out on? There was sort of a drunken three-way earlier. <laughs> That'll happen. But it meant more to her than it did to John Blackstar. It looks like. She seems a little overpowered. Who would you choose, George, oh. between Katana and uh, Tony Katane and uh... Katana, the Star the Alien Sword. Babe. What are the you alien doing? Babe. It's our only chance. Can you pause? John. I want. I want to get George's I... answer on this. Well, it's a funny thing. I. Uh... I, uh... Yeah, her. Her yeah. or... Uh... Katana. Tani Katana. You know, I think we're gonna have to do that. Wait, save it for an EP mode. I'd go with the space, babe. Same here. Oh. I don't know that we needed that moan there. <laughs> Katana! Maybe the you Star didn't. Sword! <laughs> what are you doing? It's our only chance, John. I love you. How many times have had this conversation? The Star Sword. Give it to me. Then you'll let us take the ship and go? Yes. Katana, Does he have a milk mustache? He'll destroy us all. This, this is the Superman exactly. thing. More or less. Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. Our star is mine. Got them both. Whoa. See, if they could only mend their differences, they would. Black Star! I 
Yeah, they tried diplomacy. Katana, get back! Black Star! Now you'll let us go free? Black Star free? Never! Never trust an overlord. Never. Must break this love for you, triangle. Black Star. <laughs> Way off target. He's just toying with us. Stay on target. Yeah, I could have lost another five minutes off here. What do you think? <laughs> That's a great. Hello. Whoa. Lazy animation. <laughs> At last, Black Star. Even you cannot stop Where are the Trobbits now? I cut them out. I Thank lost you. a massive Trobbits. They're making you. Vienna fingers in a tree somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I like his posture. Uh, I like this crotch. John, hurry! Ever see a rat's belly, leave. Black Star? You'll never get out, Black Star. <laughs> I'll blast that ship to vapor. Take off while you still can, Katana. I'll it's cover. Kind of lazy deflection there. <laughs> Just no. kind of holding it there. John, get in. We can make it. Oh, no, you can't. Ah, there they are. It's Blackstar. He escaped. He's, he's going home? He's going away? Is that Welker? Forever. Yeah. One of them. Oh, Black Star! Whoa, Black Star! <laughs> we thought you'd left us for sure! But what would I do without Balkar's advice and Riff's home cooking and Pulo's. Soft batch Let's cookies home, for Trumpets. everyone. We've got a big job to finish. Yay! So wait, did the girlfriend, the girlfriend left? Katana? Yeah. This is Lieutenant Katana returning to base. Come in headquarters. We read you, Katana. Did you find <laughs> Black Star? Affirmative, Commander. I'll need the entire fleet for my mission. What mission, Lieutenant? I'm going back there to help him. <laughs> That guy on the intercom looked like Steve Raleigh, Playgirl's uh, Hunk of the Year. Oh, yeah. I All wonder right. if they're going to get into like another like love triangle with him. The guy on the... You know what I mean? Hey, I you're, cooped, you're cooped up. Yeah. I think there's enough to go around mm -hmm. for everybody in this cartoon. I mean, you got a shapeshifter. That's... You know, <laughs> yeah, the possibilities are endless. Yeah. A sword that can do anything? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Matt, what did you think? I thought it was pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting cake. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I think that's that's the uh, the name of the game. I like him shaddy. I want yeah, him shaddy. Exactly. And uh, and that one was shaddy. When the swords combined, they could do anything and he chose to just shoot a bunch of lasers at his enemies. That's it. I know. Which is he what could do they anything. could do before that. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. He could like make a, make a pot of popcorn. He could, you know, <laughs> get a recording think... contract. Exactly. Like, you think maybe the car. There's like, there's so much. <laughs> maybe the lasers could have been green or something when they shot out when they combined. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. Something yeah. different. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was well, funny when one of the trumpets got a giant Q-tip for the big ear trumpet. That was my favorite part. <laughs> Um, I wish they would have gone more, and maybe they did, George. Maybe you edited it out, but into the love triangle. Did they go more into that? No, I would have. That, I would have saved every. I would have erased everything before that. Yeah. Okay. That okay. is pretty ballsy it. for a, a children's cartoon to have some kind of love triangle, right? Like yeah. it's usually just like there's one person that looks like the female version of the male 
that's better with and mm-hmm. right like i'm that for nick on this show mm-hmm. hmm. yeah. yeah i'm the i'm the lady way. nick sure um okay so we're gonna play an, a game of course uh it's uh based on uh identifying weapons from cartoons they start off easy they get a little more obscure and it's something i call knife to see you oh all right you ready the title yep. Okay, so just when I show them, just yell them out, okay? Okay. You gonna make an right. opening graphic for Knife to See You? Po- possibly. Okay, all right. Um, Matt, Matt, you understand the concept? You're going to show a picture of a weapon, and we say what it is. Yeah, just yell it. Okay. 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 Ready? Number one. Sword. Oh. Oh. Thundercat sword. Thundercat sword. Uh, I'll take Lionel's, it. Lionel's Saber. sword. It's it is the the sort of omens from Thundercats, mm. but right. you did call him Lionel instead yes. of Lion. Yeah, <laughs> hey, you learned. Which, which is the, well, the character from uh, the, the Meathead's friend on um, on our, on uh, All in the Family. Is it Lionel or Lion Lion O? Lion Dash O. Oh, it's Lion O. I, call, yeah. I called him Lionel. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. uh, yeah, there, there it is. is. There's Lionel. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Farmer's tan. Uh, okay. That has uh, the Homer Simpson muzzle. And remember, it has the uh, it it can shrink in size. Uh, mm, cool. That's a, that's always a cool feature. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's easy. smaller. Now it's easy. a dagger. Okay. Carry around. Okay. Oh, He Man sword. Sword of Eternia. Uh, uh, I can't remember the exact. By the power name. of Grey Skull. Yeah. I yeah. am the power. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so ready for another one. So this is a a. This is a different sword. Oh, it looks like the, the... sword of Damocles. Oh, oh uh, uh, sword of uh, sword of uh, 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 salvation. This is this is sword. I that know. is correct. It is, okay. This this is the sword of protection. Okay. Um, remember look, crossed swords. Looks similar. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, this one. Fire sword. Lightning sword. <laughs> you name the character. Uh, space uh, ghost. sword. No, hold on. I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm thinking. Uh, who had that? Um, one of the uh, Herculoid. <laughs> That's your go-to is the Herculoids. Mm. But unfortunately, it is in fact Snoopy. Thundar's fabulous sun Thundar. sword. Yeah. The fabulous he? sun sword. He's a barbarian. Thundar the barbarian. Oh, okay. Ukla the mock. This isn't doing anything for Herculoids. Yeah, <laughs> so in the very first episode of Shatterday, we saw a, a live action. Uh, uh, anyhow, yeah, a preview. And remember, he fought uh, the Statue of Liberty in one episode. This is real. Uh, oh, we gotta watch that. Okay, how about this one? Oh, uh, uh, Gargamel's sword. Dirk the Daring from. Um, oh, that's a good guess. Dragon's Knight guy thing here. Um, uh, the knife guy's sword, the, Mr. That's knife. That's good. Guy. Yeah. Well, that's it. It's the knife guy's sword. Now, this is. Uh, <laughs> does this help at all? Because it's from the opening credits. Uh. uh Leonardo. Oh. Oh, okay. uh, Leonardo. I don't like his pose here. Uh. Okay. They're getting a little more difficult. Oh, there he is. He's just screaming and everything. Uh. This. I don't know if this is difficult or not. This was uh, featured in two animated films by different companies. Hmm. Wasn't there a Brave Star? Was that another thing we watched? Mm-hmm. Yeah, is, I'm going to yeah. say Brave Star. Anything? Two films by different companies. Um, I'm going to say this is uh, from the Herculoids. This, this is uh, this is Sting. Uh, the the this is both oh. Bilbo's oh, the Rankin and the Rankin Bass. Bass. And in uh, in Frodo's sword, in uh, with the lights in, up uh, when a, a spider is nearby. Is that the yeah, one? something like that. Okay. Uh, uh, this Zelda, one, Zelda. That, that is correct. Yes. Oh, good uh, one. Uh, this one is impossible. Hercules. Butter, butter swords. Uh, this is <laughs> this is. Uh, does this even help? I don't even know Centurions? if this is no. no, the main character. This is Galtar and the Golden Lance. Oh. What? You just made that up. No, I mean, look, in Spain, they had a Galtar sword actually sold, and there were there were even Galtar uh, Valentines. Oh, Galtar wow. Valentines. Oh, so, you know, 
I uh, love is that his girlfriend? We're, we're, we're nearing the end here. Uh, Shredder? Oh, uh, Samurai, Samurai, uh, what was it, Samurai Mice from Outer Space? Spiker One of the Mice from Mars? Yeah, yeah. What the, I'm not even sure if this helps. Double Dragon? Yeah, that is right. That's oh. the oh. cartoon. I knew nothing about it. It looks nothing uh, like the video game. Character. And finally, this one. A fork. <laughs> well, I... <laughs> um, uh, any guesses here? Gargamel's fork. <laughs> Herculoids. <laughs> The well, fork okay. of Eternia. <laughs> this is uh, this is the this is. Uh, I'm not surprised you didn't get this. this. is a rare one. This is the fork I've been using for pasta every night since the, the pandemic began. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there there it is. Game one. There's me. There's wow. the pasta. George, don't I have a, a photo of you eating a roll with a fork? You like, do, like, but I don't <laughs> think it's as I don't think it's as weird to eat pasta with a fork. But it is weird to eat pasta with the with same the same fork. one. Well, yeah. same one. You that only I don't own have one fork. I'm if it ain't broke, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Do you remember well, the, do you remember that? Uh, I gotta look for that photo. It was at uh, <laughs> Anderson's wedding. It was. I, I think Albertina saw you. She's like, "Oh, look at George is eating his roll with a fork." And you like, yeah, like stuck the, only... the <laughs> stuck <laughs> the fork into the roll, and then you're eating the roll like that. Like that's all she knows about me. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> that's it. Uh, Nick, did you learn anything? Uh, I I learned I need to brush up on my swords. I just. Uh... Yeah, but I am hungry for uh, some Keebler cookies. That's the other thing Matt, I learned. you got anything, to any any wisdom to impart? I did not learn a damn thing. <laughs> That's the way we yeah. like it here. That's the way we yeah. like it here. Same here, Jack Squat. Sounds Good like we're ready to wrap it up. Uh, I love George. Now, Chucky, don't ever do that. Mm. Mm. Hi, I'm George from Saturday Morning Cartoons, and this is One to Shadow. I want the ball. <laughs> uh, I learned about love, is what I learned about. Oh, of course. Yeah. You're going to have to tell me about that later. Mm -hmm. Black Star teaches us that taking your spaceship and slamming it into an implacable gravity well that is a black hole may not be the wisest course of action. Sure, we end up being ripped in a fur speedo with an all-powerful sword on a freaky world with a hot blue lady, but there are downsides, too. I can't think of any of them right now, but there must be some. So, when the clutch on your evolutionary drive is burnt out and a voice tells you to head toward an all consuming void, just say no unless you're pretty sure some awesome stuff awaits you. And that's one to shat on. You shat on it hard. Bravo. Yep. All right. Well, Matt, do you have anything to plug coming up? I, uh,. That what sounds about... like a like a disgusting prompt, but uh, no. <laughs> what about Overlord's uh, cassette tape? And oh, uh, right. ah. yes, uh, we recorded a uh, a few songs toward our next album. It is now available on a uh, on a physical media. Uh, I was inspired by the Found Footage Festival's uh, uh, commitment to VHS, so you can buy a cassette tape on Bandcamp if you want, and it comes with a download card so you can actually listen to it and hi-fi. But Matt, you listened to it on an actual cassette player, and it worked, right? I did. I, I, I played one song, and then it got to the end and stopped, and I flipped it over and played the other song. It was great. Love a it. single. Oh, yeah. I love single. the singles. I have, yeah. a Walkman. I have a Walkman in the uh, office here somewhere, and I haven't listened to it in ages, so this will give me an excuse. I'm stoked for it. Well, yeah, it's Bandcamp slash what? It's... Oh yeah, we have shirts too. Bandcamp, uh, OverlordUSA.bandcamp.com. Okay, and, and Overlord's all over Spotify too. So it's, it's we're yeah. huge on Spotify. Yeah, there okay. you go. There Whoa. it is. Make Wonderful. sure you put that HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash beforehand. Right, and of course, a slash at the end as well. Yeah. Well, we for all of us here on Charity Morning Cartoons, especially Matt, thank you very much. You were you had some trepidation uh, coming on here and facing the gauntlet, the gantlet, which is uh, Charity Morning. But I hope you feel okay about your decision now. No, I, I thank you guys for having me. I'm a, I'm a big fan, and and uh... and next time we better see that sword still taped exactly where it is. <laughs> oh, and, and real quick, Matt, do you, do you have anybody jumping over you anytime soon coming up? Or do you have uh, yeah, my my, ch my children will be jumping over me several times before we we call it a day. Yeah, sweet, perfect. All right, I look forward to seeing that. 
Well, from all of us, uh, I hope you're enjoying your International Credit Union Day. And otherwise, <laughs> happy, happy Day! I'm John Blackstar. <laughs> <laughs>